the caliber of the league will go up. But I don't think it's gonna rival the BCHL anytime soon or ever, like I stated a while ago. I'm your father. So the whole point of this video here, we're gonna dissect what it really is, like what it was before, because it wasn't really on people's radar before, what it is now, why the move was made by Hockey Canada, probably all together, and what this means now for players like you watching this video. What's going on guys? This is Brayden from Advancement Hockey Advising here. And today we'll be talking about the KIJHL in the BC moving up to Tier 2 Junior A status and what this means for Hockey Canada and players moving forward. As I said in my video this past week talking about the Naha, which you can check up up here, there's a lot that's been going on in the junior hockey world. There's the Naha that got formed, there's the BCHL that left Hockey Canada, which is absolutely wild. You can check out the video we made up here as well about the BCHL leaving. There's also the NCDC West that got formed this year. You can check out the video up here about our thoughts on that. And now there's the KIJHL moving up to tier two junior A status here in BC, which is actually big news as well. There's a lot going on. So the whole point of this video here, we're going to dissect everything along those lines. We're going to talk about what it really is, like what it was before, because it wasn't really on people's radar before, what it is now, why the move was made by Hockey Canada, probably altogether, and what this means now for players like you watching this video. If it's worth going to now and where the caliber is going to be and the NCAA exposure is going to be. And it's funny, as I'm making the video right now, I'm realizing my shirt's kind of like the same color as the background, so I probably look like one big blend, but at this point, I'm too lazy to go ahead and change the shirt for this video, so we're going to just keep rolling, keep it as is. And you know what? On that note, if you guys destroy that like button right now and you watch until the end of the video, you're going to see me with a different shirt that's not completely blended into the background. So if you want to see that, keep watching. All right, so let's start with what the KIJHL used to be. It used to be a pretty good junior B developmental league, especially for players that were in Western Canada. So it had some pretty good caliber, not really much NCAA exposure. There was a few D3 commits that went on and lower end commits out West, but honestly, not, uh, not anything too big. It used to just be a developmental league for players that were like 16, 17, 18 years old, mainly for Western Canadians that couldn't really make any of the junior B or junior A leagues out in Western Canada. And they kind of went here flocked here, developed for a year or two, and then moved on to the junior A level after. So that was the whole intention behind it before. That's where it was. It was a decent spot, nothing too crazy, but it was similar caliber to like the GOJHL in Ontario. Very, very similar caliber and idea behind the league. So this begs the question, why did it get upgraded? So why all of a sudden now is the KIJHL going junior A under Hockey Canada? I think if you put two and two together, it's a little bit obvious. This is me speculating, take my opinion with a grain of salt, but here's what I think. I think because the BCHL left Hockey Canada, it left a really big hole uh, in the market and Hockey Canada is kind of fighting to gain some control back as to the Junior A hockey landscape. So they promoted the KIJHL up to the Junior A level to maybe compete with the BCHL. I don't think they're ever going to compete with the BCHL. I highly doubt if they did that anytime recent or ever, to be honest. But I think that's ca Hockey Canada's way of kind of trying to re -back, uh, regain some control back. And this goes to show that Hockey Canada has kind of been struggling lately because changes like this, changes like uh, the Naha forming in Ontario. The Naha kind of formed because the CCHL altogether didn't want to leave. It almost happened, but then there was a split, so the Naha formed. So with these things kind of happening, the Naha, the BCHL leaving, you know, I think it's it's really showing that Hockey Canada is really losing its grip on junior hockey. And I think that if another big league like the AJHL or the OJHL, anything like that, if they decide, you know what, we're going to leave and go to the unsanctioned process as well, if they start doing that, then Hockey Canada is really going to be in trouble here. We have a problem. So it's a really big shift in junior hockey. I remember calling it in the past and I got some comments from people saying, you're crazy, you know, like it's only a one-off. Nothing's really going to happen since the, the BCHL left. I had a good feeling that, you know, from the conversations I was hearing that Hockey Canada has really been starting to lose control on these leagues and on these teams. And this could change the whole landscape of junior hockey. Maybe not. Maybe they regain their grips back and things don't work at the unsanctioned level and people stay sanctioned under Hockey Canada. But for now, it's a really big shift happening in the culture of junior A hockey and it's gonna be interesting to see how it evolves here moving forward. So as I'm going through all these theories, giving my speculations and what this means, you know, you guys are probably thinking, Brayden, just please stop talking and tell me what this means for me. How does it affect 
me as a player, is it worth it for me to go there or not? Okay, so we'll dive into that right now. So I definitely do think that with the KIJHL moving up to Junior A Tier 2 status, the caliber of the league will go up. It might not go up that much this year, but as the years move forward, it definitely will. Um, I think the NCAA exposure is also going to be better as a result. But I don't think it's going to rival the BCHL anytime soon or ever, like I stated a while ago. I think it's still going to kind of be in the shadow of the BCHL, and I don't know if this move is really going to work that well long term only time will tell but for now if you're looking at different options like maybe around the NOJHL the MJHL in Manitoba or the EHL I say the KI at this point because it's getting bumped up to junior A status it might be a good option to go to I think the caliber overall is going to be similar to maybe that of the MJHL maybe a little bit lower okay I might be kind of making a stretch with the MJHL with just the recent year this year of getting bumped up so soon but I think because it's at the junior A status it might rival the MJHL a little bit but again it's I'm not really sure but I know for a fact it will not rival the BCHL I've seen some of the players getting signed there they're extremely good hockey players and it's very hard to get there right now try pushing some of our clients and it's, it's insanely hard to get in the BCHL very very good caliber that's going to be there moving forward so I don't see the KIJHL matching them anytime soon or ever I'm your father long term what does this mean for you guys it could go either way to be honest it could either go BCHL and the Naha and all these unsanctioned leagues all decide to become unsanctioned and that's the way to go moving forward and Hockey Canada completely loses their grip on junior A hockey. Or it could be that these moves like the KIJHL getting bumped up and Hockey Canada making some moves elsewhere as well to really solidify the sanction process. It could be that they regain their control and leagues that went independent like the BCHL, the Naha, all that, they kind of just crumble and the KI, for example, overtakes the BCHL. But that's really long term. I don't see the KI being better than the BCHL. CHL anytime soon. Again, the caliber is going to be more of that, like the MJHL, something around those lines is what I'm thinking. All right, so we talked a lot about the KIJHL, but there's two main points here I want you guys to take away from this video. First, the whole move of the KIJHL going up to tier two junior A status is probably a move by Hockey Canada to regain some control on junior A hockey. What this means for you, the KIJHL's caliber and NCAA exposure is probably going to go up slightly. The caliber is probably going to be around the MJHL in Manitoba or maybe a slight slight edge lower but I think it's going to come up slightly moving forward so it's a decent option to consider as a player. All right guys that wraps it up for the video here. If you noticed as promised a new shirt has been worn that doesn't perfectly blend with the background. So if you guys like this video because you watched all the way through we have this reward of changing the shirt and the magic of video editing is phenomenal isn't it? But if you haven't liked that video already absolutely destroy the like button it really goes a long way if, and if you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward also too if you have any questions for me any questions for the team at all drop a comment down below or send us a private email at info at ahadvising.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible all right guys thank you so much for watching the video we'll catch you on that next one